I'm so proud of my wife, man. Um, and I'll tell you why I'm proud of, I'm proud of her, Teresa, because she's moving into project management now. Amen. So at her job, I'm just watching God bless her, man. Mm -hmm. And uh, she went from an analyst to now managing the department at this bank. Mm -hmm. I said, okay, God, you so good with what you do. Because mm -hmm. yes, yes. the whole process that he did with her allowed me to leave corporate America Amen. and do what I do now. Amen. And God is even, oh, come on. <laughs> It doesn't happen within the time frame that I wanted to. And here's the funny thing. She applied for a, a, a PMP job uh, just last week within the thing, and they mm -hmm. chose somebody else, and she came back, and she said, you know what, babe? I wanted that with everything I got, mm -hmm. but I don't want nothing before God's Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Amen. 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 That's what it does. She didn't even know that she was teaching me because sometimes as I'm, as I'm, as I, even now, man, God has opened the doors for me in terms of what I do with marriages and coaching in a way that he's never done it before. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm one of those people who are very anal and I got like, I, because I'm from Brooklyn, there's a certain grind that rests inside me. Like I'm off the block. Yeah, there's a certain, you know what I'm saying? Come on, you bro, you know what I'm talking about. There's a certain grind inside of me that when things don't happen within the time frame that I want it, I go back in the room, I'm like, all right, cool. Step on this train and you can make yep. You, you understand what I'm saying? And God was like, leave that alone. Leave that alone. And sometimes it feels like you're being buried in your own stuff. You've seen the opportunities happening right in front of you. The people who came up after you are blowing up in ways before you. And God has to remind you, come on, son. It's not, it's not, it's, it's not for you. And the, 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 here's, the, here's the funny thing that I realized, like for real, just, he said like for real, the, 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 you won't get the, the, the full potency exactly. of it. The longer that it takes to ferment is the full, oh come on. Yep. So for some of us who, mm -hmm. you know, wouldn't save your entire life, you know, there's that 151 Lee Smith and yeah, that Jose Claire will put you on your back. <laughs> I'm, just, I, I'm just keeping it 100 with you. I ain't always been in this space. You feel me? And I realized that the, the ones that were most powerful were the ones that were fermented the longest. And when I first came to my first trip down south and that moonshine, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. For that stuff that, for, and what God is saying to you is like, for real, son, don't skip steps. Don't skip steps. And I'm just watching him now, like for real. Every time I, I get ready to, okay, I'll give you a glimpse of what it looks like. Do me a favor. I'm not burying you. I'm planting you. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm.